I am heading over to Oahu, and it's a really pretty day. Having the plane really opens up the world to me. It allows me to go to the other islands on spur of the moment. The plane leaves when I get there. And it doesn't, I don't have to call ahead, I can just go. Today I'm here on Oahu to work with my friend, Dr. Kim Holland. He and his colleagues are doing some great shark research. They are some of the real true experts on sharks anywhere in the world. I'm here to just be an assistant with them and help them in any way I possibly can. We're so lucky to have this facility. Oh my gosh, you know, I mean, what a great facility. It's just very naturalistic. The sharks don't even know they're in captivity, basically. Yeah. And so they do very, very well. We do two things with our captive sharks. One is we're interested in their physiology, how much food do they need a day, how fast do they grow. But the other thing we do is these animals are our test cases. One of the things we're working on is very exciting. It's a tag that will actually tell us when a shark feeds, how often it feeds. This is one of the prototype tags that we've developed here in Hawaii to study feeding behavior in sharks. We're gonna use this one in our lagoon with a captive shark. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this inside some food and we'll feed it to the sharks. Fantastic. Okay? Okay. Just gonna put, put that in there for me. Force it as far down as you can. That's it. Squid sandwich. Squid burrito. Whoa! Tag burrito. Slippery little bugger, isn't it? Right. There you go. Okay. There you go. So then we're gonna just put this little bit of light line on here. Just enough to dangle it in front of the sharks. Okay, here we go. So right now we're gonna go over and feed some sharks. The idea being that we get them all excited so they'll eat pretty much anything. And then they, we'll slip a little special squid in that's laced with a uh, radio transmitter. Okay. Pop it. There he goes, got it. Tag deployed. These sharks know what feeding time means. Boy, you sprinkle a little bit of that water from the dead squid and the dead fish parts into their regular water and they start going nuts looking for where the food is. Okay, so we got it, right? Yeah. Now we want to make sure he keeps it down, so we want to get him to eat some more food. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, so let's throw so some, so let's throw some food, so he doesn't spit it out, exactly. Okay. So this is, go this is going down as piling on top of the piece of squid. To hold it in. To hold it in. So then after maybe two or three weeks, when all that's left of that package we fed it is just that tag, when that gets to be too much of an irritant, the shark will say, I can't digest this, and it'll evert its stomach, the tag will come out and float to the surface, and then we can go and pick it up and download to our computers the memory to see what's been going on inside of that shark's stomach since we just fed it to him. That's pretty slick. They're awesome animals. Aren't they? they are amazing. Just amazing creatures. <laughs> 